Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson of uh, SVP development series. Uh, lesson 3, build a simple workflow application. So in this lesson we will try to build a very simple uh, hybrid application based on the SAP mobile workflow. So here we uh, have already uh, you know, configured a uh, Android emulator. So here we first we install the APK file of the workflow container. Also, we have already configured the SUP user. So we open up the mobile SDK, and here we create a new mobile application. So here, uh, the mobile application diagram has already been started. So our target backend system is the sample DB, which is uh, shipped with the SUP installation. It's a SQL Anywhere, uh, SQL Anywhere instance, which includes several sample uh, database tables and data. So here we can see we have several uh, tables. We drag the product table here, and we choose a name. It's a um, naming convention start from uh, MBO product. This is a um, uh, MBO business objects generated. So here we choose to deploy the MBO to SVP server. So here we choose next. Yes. So um, we choose the SVP server, and we choose the backend server connection. So here is the sample DB. Next and finish. So it's the first step of deploying the MBO, which is the business objects that consists of uh, business logics. And uh, the MBO has to be deployed into the SUP server before building our hybrid mobile applications. So here, next, we will start a mobile workflow from editor. So here we choose M cells as the name of the mobile application. So here we choose can be started from the client. So here uh, there's a, a application uh, workflow based on a simple template of client initiated. So here. We drag the MBO that's previously been built into the diagram editor. Here, you can see the several pages has been automatically generated. Uh, we have a list page, we have a detail page, and also we have a create page and update page. So here in the opening screen we can drag a menu item this menu item we name it products so we choose the type of the menu item to online request which is uh, an MBO call to the backend system we choose uh, find all which is the uh, Object query all, um, automatically generated with the MBO. So here we can choose a device cache timeout. Uh, after this timeout, the online request cache will be invalid. So we click save. We add another menu item. It's called add a product. 
and we will point this menu item to the creates page we will choose open and we will choose the screen MBO product create it's the creates page so here we save all let's go back to the flow design and we click arrange all button so it's a very cool ranging all the pages in proper position so here you can see um, the screen properties we click the create button so it will invoke the create mess method so here we will choose a successful screen uh, if the user creates this product successfully it will return to the product list page so here we can see the lines with arrows already generated in this flow design so we can see uh, right click and select generate workflow package and here in this new version we have uh, jQuery mobile theme selection we can select uh, CMD and we assign the workflow to a user so click finish okay so let's go back to the SCC and uh, check what we already done we select from the domains we can see that the package of MBO this MBO has already been deployed and enabled also there's a workflow application workflow application has also been deployed so here we start the Android emulator you can see uh, from the menu screen uh, the workflow application has already been uh, opened up and uh, after selecting a workflow you can see there's a M cells application already being pushed from the SUP server so so by doing the hybrid application all the business logics and all the um, front end uh, hybrid applications resides on SVP server and when the custom when the user requests uh, it will push the application front end application into the mobile workflow container so here we click the button we it will do an online request so here we have a product with raw data this is a product list we can see all the uh, product information here so we try to go back and uh, try to add a product so here we have uh, several input fields so here we input 920 SAP mobility Kevin is selling. Yes, ten. Can choose a color white. Okay. Quantity. 
quantity of uh, unit price. Okay. So finish by click the create button. Okay. Uh, it will uh, the create is success full so it go back to the product list page so here we can go to the products list and here we choose we click click an item First, we will see yes, this newly created product. We click the button and see the details. And so here we have a updates button. So here we can do some updates. Say we will change the color from white to black and here we choose update okay so let's go back to the backend system database and let's see what's going on in the database so here we can see the color is black and uh, the database recall record has been created and updated thanks for watching this session bye